everyone, it's Mary here from Markry Woolcraft again. And at this time of the year, I'm starting to get my fleece in from the farmers around the country. And um, yesterday I got a delivery of three different fleeces from a lady down in Kerry who very carefully uh, keeps her different breeds of, of sheep apart so that I can know which fleece is, fleece is which. So I've got three different fleeces here from her. And one of them, the first one I'll just show you, I just want to show you these, to show you the difference that we can have in a fleece. So this is um, Cheviot, which is um, a medium length um, staple. This is quite a short stapled um, Cheviot. I think the Irish Cheviots are a little bit shorter fleeced than uh, the English ones. And it's a really nice fleece to work with nice crimp it's always got the the locks got pointed tips on them and it's very easy to spin i i find this was a great fleece for teaching people to spin because of its sort of medium length um staple and it's a nice fine um fleece really and it's a bit under underused really by spinners people think it's going to be coarse but in fact, on, if a good cheviot is really nice. It's really nice, nice soft yarn at the end of the day for jumpers and that sort of thing. So that's the cheviot. We put that to one side there. And the other one I want <coughs> that I got, the purebred ones, is a <coughs> Rouge de la Leste. Sorry about my French. This is, this is a sheep. It has a kind of a reddish skin on it when your face is kind of almost reddish looking and it's really short staple you can see that originally i believe bred as a um milking sheep and this is a really fine um fleece and again not used very commonly by spinners this would be a little bit more difficult to spin you can see it's a lot shorter there that's the difference and this one instead of having um pointed staples they're kind of blocky pointed locks they're kind of blocky looking so you can tell it apart lovely crimp and it is really fine and i think it's going to be lovely at the end of the day when it's done lots of lanolin and this one here is a cross between the two of them it's, this is a crossbred one so you have the pointed this one's come out with the slightly pointed locks of a cheviot and the shorter staple of the rouge so that's the difference between the three fleeces that came yesterday so these i'm afraid will go into my shed until i have time to get at them wash them card them and um, <clears throat> maybe spin them or maybe sell them on as carded wool ready to spin if anybody's interested in that so thank you very much for looking at that and um, hopefully that explains why different breeds of sheep are used for different purposes. Thank you.